everybody with me I'm handicapping thoroughbred racing from my hometown track, Penn National Racecourse, Grandville, Pennsylvania, on Wednesday, May the 2nd. And this is my day at the track.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 5 this evening, folks. 7.52 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Mile test on the dirt. Four year olds and up race for an allowance prize of some $36,000. Contenders, number nine, Halton Gully. Number three, Next May. Number two, Shookstown Road. And number seven, Quiet and Foxy. Number nine, Halton Gully is the overall speed leader in this allowance field. Racing at tonight's distance for a mile on the dirt has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in three of those adventures, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Erica Strunk is was in her irons for that last win 11 days ago here at Penn National. En route to a positive 160% return on investment in the process is back tonight for her second ride, gunning for it back-to-back -back circle trips. Number three next May, a 9-2 shot, drops in class by eight track master units, has also turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in a pair. Race 5 summary, number 9, Halton Gully, tops the contenders list tonight, which also includes number 3, Next May, number 2, Shookstown Road, and number 7, Quiet and Foxy, 9327 in the 5th from Penn National. Bonus long shots, let's go to Charlestown, race 3, the speed honors in this claiming field are shared by the 5-1 to one shot, number 1, Sexy Sherry, and the 6-1 to one shot, number 3, Flortini, you also note that Sexy Sherry is dropping in class. Woodbine in Canada, race three. Number three, one big gator, 401 on the morning line, drops in class by six units. It's the speed leader in this allowance field, racing at or about tonight's distance of eight and a half furlongs on Woodbine's cushioned dirt track. So from Penn National on a Wednesday night, I'm Rick Eaton for dayatthetrack.com. The money is always to please bet with your head, not over it.